DuckTales, I installed that video game. I could not get a Bluetooth controller to work, but I also kind of gave up because I was just going to make a video with it. It wasn't really a whole process. But in theory, it will launch the game. Playing the music. Go ahead and do a game. I'm gonna hit easy. And I'm gonna skip this little intro scene. And you can see you can hit these controls and jump. How do you jump? There we go. There we go. So if you wanted to play a video game here, you could. Pretty impressive. So again, you could try Bluetooth controller. I tried the Steel Steel Series XL, and I didn't get it to work. But I mean, this is running. This is a video game that was originally on the Nintendo Entertainment System, right? This is a great game. I don't like playing with touchscreen controls, but. In theory, there's lots of games that would work with touchscreen controls. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. But, I mean, like I said, that's not a super impressive game, but it's... I mean, not a super intensive game, but it works. When I had the Moto Z2 Force with the gamepad, I played this game a lot. Alright, that's enough of uh, DuckTales. Oh yeah, I downloaded Tetris. So here we are launching Tetris. Uh, I'm going to clean the screen up here. I've actually never tried this, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. Not looking like it since it's taking so long here. Nope. Well, that please just select your age. 120 is how old I am. Alright, so let's just try marathon. I'm gonna try to do the swipe. Oh, I got an advertisement pop up. I'm cutting it out of here. So, yeah, it looks like it's working. No. Yeah. I mean, I would not call this optimal at all. So yeah, I would not call it optimal. Let's try to go to the other settings. Let's see if it does that now. So yeah, uh, I would call Tetris not the best, but DuckTales, pretty fun. Pretty good on here. Right? 